Hey, good morning. Welcome back to the channel. Uh, before we get started today, just want to uh, give a quick shout out to all the new viewers over the past probably week. Uh, the channel has grown significantly and I want to thank each and every one of you for that. That means the world to me. Um, of course, every viewer is important, but I want to give a special shout out to the viewers in Australia and New Zealand. Big time. That's, that's big for me. So thank you so much for watching. I appreciate you very, very much. Uh, today's a very special day. I'm going to um, what some might consider probably one of the biggest automotive events in, in the world, uh, certainly in the United States. It's the Springfield Swap Meet, which is, I think it actually goes by the technical name Cars and Parts Swap Meet. Um, but today we're on the hunt for Impala Parts. Um, car memorabilia, just all anything that catches my eye. I've uh, been going to this event for well over 20 years, and it happens every Memorial Day weekend, um, which just happens to be my birthday, so it's it's like a birthday gift every year. But um, yeah, I used to go all the time. I used to go with my brother when we were younger. We would go every time, and you just you never know what you're gonna find at this place. Um, it doesn't have to always be automotive related. There's some people here that set up kind of like a the dirt flea market, if you know what I'm talking about. So um, just gonna look for some cool stuff today and hopefully we find something good. And I'll take you guys through a walk of the car corral so I can show you the vehicles that are for sale. Um, you just never know what you're gonna find there. So stay tuned. Thanks for being on the channel. And uh, we'll talk here throughout the video. So here we are, we've made it to the event. Yes, I know I have a funny hat on, but listen, after 20 some years of coming to this place, you gotta wear a hat. And this is the best one I've found thus far. So, uh, not gonna film everything, but we'll do some uh, time lapse here and show you what all we got. So let's get started.
words can't describe the, how cool this thing is. It's, it's just badass. Straight axle front end. Oh man, what a cool car. <clears throat> Those of you local here to Dayton or in the Southern Ohio area will recognize this car. This is the Carnes and Lopez Corvette. Uh, this would be not Dean Carnes Jr., but Dean Carnes Sr. Dean Carnes Jr., as those of you from the lowrider world know, he was a hydraulic champion for cool cars, um, hijacker, but he also is on the Street Outlaws TV show. Well, this is his dad's car. This car's been around for a very long time. Very, very fast car. Still looks good after all of these years. Beautiful car. Another side shot of this Barracuda. God, this thing's insane. A pretty cool little thing they do here the road nights of ohio uh car club dayton ohio they put on this every year kind of breaks up uh being outside in the sun because it gets pretty damn hot here sometimes come inside and cool off and see some really bitching race cars this one's one of my favorites it's here every year 63 i believe it's a biscayne no sorry a bel air with a 409, 425 horse. Car's been around for a very long time. Beautiful car. Great price.
Must be the year for 59 El Caminos. I've seen probably two or three of them here this morning. This one looks to have a 348 or 409 in the back, towing a trailer. It's got another 348 or 409. Not really sure how to tell those apart just by looking at them at first glance. But uh, yeah. Pretty cool. bucks 60,000 miles I mean if you're just looking for a classic car to cruise around that to me is a steal but what do I know I'm not a Cadillac guy from this video sorry it's probably windy they say there's over 500 cars here for sale in just this one little area and there's probably three areas this size beautiful 64 Chevy for sale or trade This one's listed local. I want to say it's 25k. I could be wrong. It's really clean though. Kind of hard to see. I know with the glare, but you get the idea. Pretty clean uh, C4 vet. I know these aren't super. You know desirable because of the changeover from 84 you know from the early the, the 82s and then they switched to 84s and changed it up a little bit this one's really clean i always wanted one of these even when i was a kid maybe someday i'll get me one because it's probably one of the most affordable vets you can get this one doesn't have a price 
foot, 59,000 miles. Not bad. Beautiful 57 Chevy. Bel Air. Very clean. 45K. 55 Pontiac. When I was a kid, my brother had one of these from Chieftain. Still Pontiac power. Very cool car. You know, similar to your Chevrolet, but a little bit more options, a little bit more chrome. It says this car has 57,000 miles. Love the color combo, like the cream color with the gray and the red interior. That's sharp. If it's still Pontiac powered, I'm sure it is. Oh, yeah. Thirty-three-five. If you're a Pontiac guy, that's a pretty nice car. Seven rag, 65k or will trade. You don't see these much anymore, even though it's a you know a light model car. Nice big Chevy. showing every car here but I'm showing stuff that catches my eye and this right here it's ugly as sin but it's the G body that doesn't get a whole lot of love and you guys know I have a Malibu so this is uh, definitely something to show you just don't see these hardly at all I mean the, the parts for these cars are extremely rare 76 dark 10.5 really really clean car I know this isn't everybody's cup of tea but if you were trying to get into the classic car game just to have something to cruise around yeah, this thing is mad. very good shape yep it's a tiny car Classic lowrider guys. Beautiful 53 Chevy. I mean, obviously, uh, needs work. Everything here is going to need something. 4200. Comes with clean title, six cylinder engine. For being an Ohio car, this isn't bad. It'd be a great start to a build. clean S10. You just don't see these anymore either, at least not around here, that aren't all rusted out. All right, so here we are back at home. Just uh, got home from the swap meet. Wow, what a great time. Uh, good time as always, seeing a lot of people, lots of old friends. Uh, quick shout out to uh, Justin, uh, Little E, Jonathan, and Benny. Uh, ran into those guys they're local guys great guys so it's good seeing them today um, so I'll show you what I got at the end of the day and and uh, then I want to introduce you to someone so here we go first thing is 1969 soapbox derby Chevrolet helmet um, General Motors was real big and promoting to the youth market back then and uh, this guy had these on a dollar table, so I had to pick one up. I thought it was pretty cool. And now this next thing, I couldn't help but get it because I, I laughed hysterically when I seen it and the guy made me a killer deal. He said, uh, how about two bucks? And I said, I, I've got to have it. So I'll hang it on the garage wall because all Chinese food is okay. You know what I mean? But um, the big thing, oh no, I also got uh, two t-shirts 
Guy had uh, old Power Tour t-shirts that were brand new in the bag. Uh, two for a buck, even though they're from 08. I don't care, it's a, it's a cool t-shirt. But the big thing I got and, uh, is this uh, radiator for the Impala. So something you'll, guy, Impala guys will take note. This is manufactured for CPP 500 steering. So, and it's, it's meant to replicate a factory uh, Harrison style radiator. So it looks pretty close to stock. It's got the hoses on the correct side that it needs to be. And it's also got a built-in uh, transmission cooler. So that's, that's pretty rad. So uh, they made me a heck of a deal on it today. Um, I'll show you the business card of the company I ended up using. Uh, Auto City Classic. Um, they're usually set up at the Springfield Swap Meet. And uh, they also deal with, let me get this to focus, sorry guys. Deal with glass, uh, gas tanks, brakes, and steering. So give them a call if you're having trouble finding a certain part you need, hit them up. I'll be uh, probably getting some glass from them because they are coming back to they are coming back to Springfield in the fall. So most likely I'll pick up some glass then because the glass on this car is absolutely shot. And I've already mentioned that in a video before. Um, but I also like to make a, an, a big introduction. First time on the channel is my niece and she is visiting uh, from um, Outer Banks. So she has a small little business that she would like to promote. Hi, my business is called OBX Bracelets. It's our Instagram and our website is obxbracelets.com. And, and what do you do on, on there? Um, so we make like anklets out of these clay beads that we found on um, Amazon and we make bracelets, anklets, and necklaces. That's awesome. All right, well, uh, look Anna up, give her a shout, and uh, while you're there, pick you up a bracelet. She'd uh, appreciate the support. So thanks again. Uh, thank you for watching through the video. Looking forward to the next one. Until then, take care.